All right, guys, so today's video, we're going to do something a little bit different. Now, normally I'm covering truly wireless earbuds or headphones or gaming headsets, and I get questions all the time about what equipment do I use? Like, what is my setup behind me? Um, so today's video, I wanna focus in on my gaming setup, which basically is my computer behind me. And I also wanna talk about like the portable stuff that I use. This isn't gonna be like breakdown reviews of everything, but kind of a quick run through of the stuff that I use and what makes my job actually a lot easier. Now I'm gonna start with the computer. I am not somebody that builds PCs. I don't know a whole lot about the guts of computers. So I went with a normal Dell gaming desktop. And what I did was just kind of piece different things in there that I thought would benefit me more. Out of the box, the computer came with an eighth gen i7. Um, it came with eight gigs of RAM, which I upgraded to 32. And I don't remember the original hard drive, but in there right now is a two terabyte hard drive mixed with a 256 gig SSD. Now the graphics card that originally came in it was an NVIDIA GTX 1060, but the company Galax reached out and sent me their new RTX 2070 super card. And this thing is badass. Like it has immediately made gaming so much better because of its capabilities, but it has also made my video editing a lot smoother because the rendering times has cut down tremendously. It has just made my life so much better. Now this graphics card, I think retails for about $500. Um, if you are interested in any of this stuff, I am gonna have links to everything in the description. But the Galax RTX 2070 Super Card has three 90 millimeter fans and I've noticed it's extremely quiet, like super quiet. On top of that, it's just a gorgeous card. Now it is massive. Um, it does have RGB lighting, which you can customize within their Extreme Tuner Plus software. So there's a lot of things that you can do there. Now my casing is a closed in casing. So the lighting is pretty much hidden all the time. But the huge benefits to this card is it offers ray tracing, which looks gorgeous if you're playing games with explosives um, different light reflections. It just makes things feel more realistic. And I also found that I can pretty much run every game at ultra with no hiccups at all. Just everything runs smoothly. Now, what also plays well from the graphics card are the monitors that I use. Now I have two of the BenQ EX 2780Q monitors. Now these monitors are not cheap. They do come in at $599 a piece. They do go on sale from time to time but they are 2K Quad HD displays. They have a 144 Hertz refresh rate, which basically means everything looks very, very fast and very smooth if you wanna run it at that rate. It's a 2560 by 1440 IPS panel. Um, the colors are gorgeous, it's bright. Um, even the audio in these monitors sound great if you don't use external sound like speakers or the monitors that I have back here. The monitors themselves actually have 2.1 sound. So you have two speakers and you even have a five watt subwoofer. And again, just out of the monitors, it's incredible what they're capable of. Now it also has intelligent HDR, which is bringing out the most out of the shadows and the highlights and just giving you a very nice balance. And I've just absolutely loved these monitors. So now let's move over to the audio. I mean, obviously audio is a huge part of what I do. Before I had this very large amp that I thought was too big to sit on top of the desk, so I even had to sit it underneath the desk. But since then, I have moved over to using the Shit Audio Hell Amp. Now they sent me the Hell and the Fulla Amp, which the Fulla model is a $99 model and the Hell Amp is $189. So there's quite the price gap there, but I found that there was a lot of similarities between the two. Now the huge benefits to using these amps are they are plug and play, basically don't need any software at all, and they sound fantastic just right out of the box. Like you don't have to tweak anything. They can definitely push headphones that usually require a lot of power. Uh, the Fuller model is very small. It's very simple. Uh, you basically have your mic in and your headphone out, which is what your computer normally has. This is just an external way to give you more amplification. Now the Hell model, which is the one that I've been using, it actually requires power by plugging it into the wall, simply because it's four times the power of the full amp. Again, you still don't need any kind of software to run this, but the advantage with the Hell is you have a gain switch for your audio, but you also have volume control over your mic. 
microphone. So being able to just do all that within the amp itself and not have to do it within software or in the computer itself is very nice. And again, it makes audio sound amazing. And that's with music as well. They're not even specifically gaming. So even if you're not a gamer, I highly recommend these if you just want better sound. Now, when it comes to the headsets that I use, if I'm using a wireless headset, I am always using the Razer Nari Ultimate. And the reason for that is I love the haptic feedback. I love feeling explosions. I love feeling gunshots and the impact of things. To me, that's just adding to the whole experience of gaming. Audio plays a huge part. And if you can actually feel a lot of the audio, it's just adding to it. And I love the experience that it has. Now the headset is not small. It's extremely large. Um, but it still, to me, is very lightweight. I don't know if it's because of the suspension system in the headband. It just has a cool look, but it is massive. Now, when it comes to using a wired headphone into my setup, now I am using the shit audio amps, but I found using the Sony MDR V6 has been like the perfect combination with those amps. And the reason I like those headphones is to me, they're so lightweight, they're easy to forget that they're on your head, but they're extremely comfortable. Now, obviously gaming, you're going to sit for long periods of time, you need something comfortable. Now the MDR V6 does not have a microphone, so I am using the mod mics if I am gonna be gaming online. They have the wireless options, they have the new USB wired option. So mod mics just sound fantastic. It is very close to broadcast quality, but they're simple, just plug and play and easy to use. Now when it comes to the mouse and the keyboard, uh, the keyboard is an older Razer or not a Chroma, and it's not because I'm cheap, it's just because I've tried tried so many keyboards since I have bought that one that none of them seem to be better. I don't know what it is. They use the cell membrane switches so they're not as loud as most mechanical keyboards. And just something about the typing experience, even with gaming, I absolutely love that keyboard. I don't even know if it's available anymore. Even if it is, it's probably like 70 bucks. It's not the original 100 or 120 dollars that it retailed for. Now the mouse that I use is from Glorious PC Gaming Ring. And it's the Model O. Now I am using the matte white version, but it's also available in matte black, gloss black, and gloss white. It's one of the lightest mouses that I've ever used. Um, I'm used to using a wireless mouse, but when it comes to gaming, in my opinion, you really want to be wired in. And the Model O being so light, it feels like a wireless mouse. And a lot of that also plays to the cable that it's using. It's using an Ascension cable, which to me doesn't pull any tension. So it's easy to just kind of move around on my desk. I kind of wish that I went with the matte black version because I feel like the white kind of stands out on my desk. But again, the look, the honeycomb cutout that this has mixed with the RGB lighting, you can go within its software and customize a lot of the lighting, a lot of what the switches do. For $50, I think the Model O is just an excellent value. Now, as far as the desk and the chair that I use, they are from OP Seat. In fact, you can get the desk to actually match the chair itself, and it just kind of gives you a uniform look to your setup. Now, when I'm away from the desk, I love using the Nintendo Switch. I just love the games that's being ported over to it, uh, the games that it has itself. So when I'm using my Switch, that's where I'm using the SteelSeries Arctic One wireless headset. It's using a USB-C dongle, which simply just plugs in the bottom, so you don't have any cables that you have to worry about. And another huge bonus for me, because I use the MacBook Air if I'm going to be editing on the go, the MacBook Air also has USB-C port that I can plug in the dongle and watch movies or listen to audio straight from that as well on the Arctic One wireless. And I was able to pick them up for $79. And to me, that is a hell of a deal. But guys, that's a rundown on a lot of the things that I use. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.